everybody, my name is Dan Morris and I am a first year motorsport engineering student at the SA1 campus down in Swansea. So whilst you're at home thinking about what course and what university you might want to go study at in the future, here are some reasons why you should go study engineering at UWTSD. The first thing I want to talk about is our brand new campus down on the waterfront. This new building is called the IQ building and it has a library right opposite the, uh, the courtyard as well which all of us can use whenever we'd like. So this campus has all of the students studying architecture, computing, engineering and environments. And as you'd expect from a typical university building, we have lecture halls, but not your typical lecture halls. So one of the really good things about our university is that we have pretty small teaching groups. So we don't have big auditoriums that you might, that you, um, might find in large universities. We have smaller classroom style lecture halls, which gives it a bit of a nicer vibe. You can interact with the lecturers during the lecture because it's such a small group. It just feels a bit more professional. So along with all of our standard teaching facilities, um, like the lecture halls, etc., um, we have our own separate workshop because our university hosts a race team. And in order to keep a race team alive, you have to have on-site uh, suites in order to maintain uh, the vehicle that you've got. So I'm just looking at the, the floor plan here uh, to see exactly what we've got because there's so much there I don't even know off the top of my head. So we've got our own engine diagnosis library, um, a flow bench lab, engine dynamometer, engine preparation and assembly room, a motorsport simulator, um, and then we've got all of our main automotive bays which we store our race cars and race bikes in as well. We've got our fabrication workshop, a chassis dynamometer, quite a large CNC manufacturing center. So those were a few different sections of our workshop that we've got. I'm sure I'm missing something as per usual. But overall, the campus just feels very modern and um, it's a joy to go study there. So I will try and insert a small clip now provided by the university to show off the campus tube.
so I hope you enjoyed that little short montage about what our university is all about. Um, I just want to mention, in one of those clips, I showed you a rolling road. The car that happens to be on that rolling road is our university race car, and I'll tell you a bit more about that later. So next, I just want to talk about Swansea City as a whole, and its nightlife as well. So Swansea as a city is a lot bigger than where I come from. I come from a small town in Brecon, in the Brecon Beacons. And uh, Swansea is the second largest city in Wales, I think. So comparing the two, Swansea was quite a big jump up for me, um, city-wise. But there's so many amazing things in Swansea, from its beaches, it's renowned for its Gower Peninsula. I'll insert a picture quickly here to show you how stunning this place is. And uh, going along with the theme of the beach, there's a lot of water sports going on with surfing and... What other water sports are there? So if you are applying to Swansea, then I highly recommend going to an open day. Um, and after the open day, just going to take a stroll. Now, what, I want to talk quickly about the nightlife in Swansea as well, because like I said earlier, I come from quite a small town. So I didn't really know to, what to expect with regards to drinking and nights out. Now, I will say that the drinking culture in uni is... Well, it lives up to its expectations. Now, one of the big things about nightlife with regards to university is Freshers' Week. So, a lot of you might not know what Freshers' Week actually is. So, Freshers' Week is the first week of university, basically, but you have no lectures and uh, no taught sessions. It's basically to enable you to meet all of your flatmates, get to just with your accommodation, and to pie. One other quick thing about Freshers' Week that I would say is don't spend all of your time drinking. Go out and explore your... Uh, your city and if there is Swansea then there's loads of places to explore that you might not have the chance to during term time. One place that I visited is Constitution Hill and you have to go and see how steep it actually is, it's ridiculous. So in terms of places, clubs, bars, there's plenty to choose from. Most of them are on this one street called Wine Street that is in the centre of town, about two minutes from McDonald's which is a nice bonus, but it's also five minutes from the SA1 campus. So if you have a bad day in lectures, then you can go straight to Spoons for a pint. I will try and leave a list on the side of the screen of most, if not all, of the bars on Wine Street for you all to go and have a look online about. Coming towards the end now, I just want to have a quick mention to the work because um, a lot of students are worried about how they're going to finance everything. So what I do, and I would advise this, advise this to any student, no matter what university you go to, is to become a student ambassador. Now a student ambassador is a student who works at open days, um, helps to promote the university, that sort of thing. So I joined university in September and I've done two open days since and a few other activities. Also with regards to open days, due to COVID-19, we're now doing virtual open days and I will include a link down in the description to the website so you can check out some more details for yourself. So lastly, I want to talk about what I mentioned earlier with regards to the university race team. Now this is one of the biggest factors that drew me to UWTSD instead of somewhere else to do a motorsport engine, engineering degree or automotive for that case. Now what's different about our university and a lot of others is a lot of other universities run a program called um, Formula Student where they, with the university, create and participate in challenges with a single-seater race car. Um, I'll put up a picture up of one. What's different with us is that we run in the Sports 2000 series using a MCR chassis. Now what's a lot cooler about entering this championship is that it's an actual championship that other, other teams participate in and they're not just participating against other universities. So it's a proper championship and there's proper races that you can go to. For instance, if all of this outbreak stuff didn't happen, we would have been and tested and raced in Donington, for instance. There's so much more to learn about Team MCR, so I would recommend looking at the website. Also, I'll link that down in the description. So you can go have a look for yourself and see what projects you may be able to get stuck into. And I'll also leave an email that you can send an email at any time you want to find out any more. So, I hope this short video has helped uh, make up your mind whether to come to our university or not. And uh, I hope you're all okay and stay safe.